And what's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Bumper to Bumper Bulletin. I am your host, TJ Bowser, and it's the week of March 4th, 2024, and this is the news. Starting things off with Stellantis. The 2024 Dodge Charger Daytona. The Dodge Charger Daytona arrives with a mix of electric and gas-powered models offering impressive performance and innovative features. The Daytona lineup includes two- and four-door electric versions with gas-powered models also available next year. Production for the two-door Daytona begins in summer 2024 with four-door and gas-powered variants scheduled for early 2025. The electric Daytona features dual motors, producing up to 670 horsepower while gas-powered six Pack models peak at 550 horses. Gas-powered models will be available with a twin-turbo 3.0 straight six offering two power outputs. The Daytona RT and Scat Pack offer unique features. The Daytona RT and Scat Pack offer unique features, including a discrete rear hatch and dual electric motors for all-wheel drive. The RT and Scat Pack models with different power outputs with optional stage kits available for increased horsepower. Customers can customize their Daytona with various options and packages, including a full-length glass roof, premium sound system, and augmented reality heads-up display. Optional driver assist features include a 360-degree camera and front and rear parking sensors. That is a pretty cool preview of the upcoming Dodge Charger Daytona. Moving on to the Dodge Banshee the electric charger to beat the Hellcat. Dodge has confirmed the development of a higher performance variant of the electric charger Daytona called the Banshee. Set to debut in 2025, the Banshee will feature an 800 volt architecture in a two-speed transmission, setting it apart from other charger EVs. The Banshee is dubbed as the electric equivalent of the Hellcat, promising to exceed the performance of the outgoing V8 model. While specific performance figures have not been confirmed, expectations include over 800 in seven horsepower in a quarter mile time in the 10 second range. The Banshee is likely to surpass the 807 horsepower mark of the Hellcat Red Eye Jailbreak. It may not debut with a four digit horsepower figure, but could potentially reach that milestone with the help of direct connection staging kits. The Banshee is expected to come standard with the track pack, offering adaptive dampers, Brembo brakes, and Goodyear Eagle F1 supercar tires. Its design may include 21-inch wheels with a turbine-like design and center locking nuts similar to the Daytona SRT concept. With the Charger being the only electric muscle car, it may face competition from high-powered electric rivals like the Tesla Model S and Lucid Air Sapphire. Moving on! to Toyota, the 2024 Land Cruiser Hybrid. How does it stack up? Well, the 2024 Land Cruiser introduces a hybrid powertrain offering impressive power and improved fuel efficiency compared to its predecessors. The Land Cruiser features a 2.4 liter turbocharged hybrid inline four engine delivering 326 horsepower and 465 foot-pounds of torque. Compared to the previous V8 model, the hybrid Land Cruiser offers better fuel economy with EPA estimates of 22 miles per gallon, 25 miles per gallon highway, and 23 combined. The Land Cruiser's fuel economy numbers are competitive with other hybrid SUVs such as the Jeep Grand Cherokee and Jeep Wrangler. Staying with Toyota, the Toyota BZ4X is Toyota's first market EV, offering a distinctive design, multiple trim options, and a competitive starting price. It targets RAV4 buyers aiming to make a good impression early on the EV market. The interior features a sea of black plastic with some avant-garde design materials. The instrument cluster is positioned far ahead of the steering wheel below the windshield for easy viewing. The central infotainment screen is complemented by physical buttons, though it is prone to fingerprints. The seats are ergonomic and supportive with some areas of the interior featuring frugal material. The BZ4X offers good acceleration power by two motors, producing a collective 214 horsepower. The suspension is tuned for comfort, providing a comfortable ride on broken pavement. The steering feel is on the soft side, suitable for daily driving and highway cruising. The BZ4X Limited all-wheel drive trim offers a modest range of 222 miles per EPA, making it more suitable for town driving than the long-distance trips. Real-world highway driving and cool weather resulted in range well below the EPA estimate, highlighting the challenges of EV ownership in certain conditions. As far as cargo space and practicality, the rackish hatch design limits cargo space compared to the RAV4. There is no front trunk frunk, limiting storage options for smaller items. Shifting 
to Honda. The 2025 Honda Pilot is getting an update, the new black edition, and will include some pricing changes. The Honda Pilot introduces this new top-level black edition and adjusts its lineup and removes the LX trim level. The black edition features black accents and starts at 55675 making it the top model in the lineup. With the removal of the LX trim, the Pilot Sport becomes the entry-level model, starting at 41295 effectively raising the base price by 2810 The Pilot now ranges from 41295 for the Sport to 55675 for the Black. The Black Edition offers a 20-inch wheel, blacked-out badging, and various black accents on the grille, mirror housing, and door trim. Interior features include Black Edition embossed seats, floor mats, red contrast stitching, and red accent lighting. All Pilot models are powered by a 3.5-liter V6 engine producing 285 horsepower paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission. And the 25 Pilot is now available at dealerships. Last but certainly not least, we are shifting to General Motors, Buick's new era. So recently, they've updated the Wildcat EV concept that they teased earlier in 2022, and it will continue to serve as a preview for the upcoming brand's styling cues. Buick has revealed an updated version of the Wildcat EV concept in a YouTube video showcasing changes to the sedan's design. The updated Wildcat EV features a revised nose, eliminating the slat light grille insert and refreshed fascia and headlight combination. While the update features to be done digitally in the video, there is speculation that the updated Wildcat EV concept may be showcased at upcoming events. Buick's decision to update the styling of the Wildcat EV aligns with its new tagline and branding strategy, emphasizing aggressive styling for its crossovers. The EV serves as a preview for future Buick designs, reflecting the brand's commitment to evolving its design language. The upcoming 25 Enclave is expected to feature a slat-like grille contrasted with the updated Wildcat EV design. Buick fans can anticipate future models to incorporate elements of this new design language, potentially including a production version of said Wildcat EV. Thank you guys for joining us on another episode of the Bumper to Bumper Bulletin. Stay tuned to this feed for automotive news and more. This has been TJ Bowser. See you guys later.